everybody. Happy Tuesday. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, Toys R Us. Oh my gosh, you're in the hospital. That's not a happy thing to start the stream with. I'm sorry to hear. Hey, we're always going to be here. Don't worry, you guys. If you're going to miss a stream, not the end of the world. I just worry about your health, okay? Hello, Cinderella. Oh, did I say Thursday? I mean, Tuesday? It's Thursday, you guys. Sorry, I'm just destroying my life. I'm a mess. Um, hello, Lisa. And oh, Stacy, Cinderella, pooper pants fart. It's been a while since we've seen you on here. <laughs> and your username kills me every time. How you doing? How's everybody doing on this lovely Thursday? Thanks for catching that, Stacy. My phone just thought I said, hey Siri, but I said Stacy instead. I'm just having my morning coffee as we speak. <laughs> just kidding, not fully morning, but like just about, you know? Night shift life. It is, I was just gonna say, it is Nikki's birthday today. Happy birthday, Nikki. She chose this cutie little monkey in the bottom corner here. I'm excited to paint him, he's adorable. Morning, top of the morning to ya. <laughs> Hello, Justin. And Mias is out, or Maze, sorry, is out going to sleep. If you had surgery, good. You go to bed and you make sure you get your rest in. We all wish you well. Sorry to hear that you had such a crappy time these last couple weeks. But, like I said, Nikki's birthday. Sorry to switch her over quick. I'm so bad at navigating through all the comments. <laughs> classic story of my life. Um, everyone say happy birthday to Nikki. She has been a um, regular to the streams for a while. We love her. She paints on her own as well. You should post your little Instagram post down there, Nikki, so that people can see all that work you've been doing lately. Um, what else can we talk about today? Just like what my little thing says at the bottom. Add me on Instagram at TayTasty, same as my caffeine here. And uh, that's how people send me their process photos because people are going to be painting along with me tonight. Uh, then I show the class. It's always a good time to show everybody where everybody is. I forgot to do that last paint night, so my apologies on that. Yell at me if you have to. Oh my gosh. Um, let's just uh, try that again. <laughs> And um, we just have a couple rules in uh, this house. Just kidding, in this studio. Fun rules. Have fun probably should be a rule, hey, I guess. Um, main one is trust the process. Your monkey's gonna look weird. Like, what? this is what he's gonna look like halfway through, like a little robot or something. But I just don't want you to get disheartened and quit. You need to finish the painting because at the end, everyone who finishes is always so proud of what they make. Always make such a nice little cutie of your own. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Hello, kiddo. Um, what else? Ask questions. You could be helping somebody watching this on YouTube later. Hello, future YouTubers. Um, even you people on YouTube, if you saw something in the video that wasn't a good explanation or you think I could have explained better, let me know and then I can implement that in the next Thursday paint night. Because always trying to get better at teaching because you guys know I don't got any training in the teaching department. So we just are learning together, okay? Uh, Morphic, hello, howdy. I haven't seen your name in here in a long time. Good to see you. Hope you guys are all staying safe everywhere. Be respectful is another great rule. Bubsy, be respectful too. We're actually pretty lucky. The stream, Tay Tasty Studio doesn't have very many trolls. We haven't had many find their way here. Only a couple have been booted to the outside. But most of the time, everyone's nice. Um, you're pretty much the goat, te the greatest of all time teacher, says Cinderella. Girl, just pumping my tires over there. <laughs> I know, like I said last time, I'm just like, um, if you are new to the streams or new to watching my like YouTube videos, go to like the newer ones because I'm better at teaching those. I like learn 
so much going through where I'm like, oh, I taught that terribly and I can see in like the results. So um, yeah, you know, just the newer ones are better. Um, and Justin's always watching Mike Wazowski. Don't you guys forget it. Justin will be on ya. <laughs> okay, I think, how many of us are painting today, you guys? get some of my paintbrushes out here. Let me like remember how to paint. Like I said, when I don't stream as like often, like three days a week, like I used to, I like forget how to do it. I'm a little slow. Nikki, I am pumped. Nikki took work off today, you guys, to follow along live, which is awesome. Usually she's watching and does them on YouTube. Cinderella does, yes. We do know Cinderella's painting. She does do them even if she misses the live stream. She does make it to my, I always post them on my stories. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see. When people tag me in their story, I always share it if I catch it. Okay, dokay. Are we ready, you guys? Have fun, no stress, can't make a mistake. You can paint over any issue you ever make. We're having a time. So, we're gonna start with a little paintbrush. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, I just broke this one. And we're just gonna pretend like that's tight on there. Okay, and we are gonna start, our first step is always mapping out where we're gonna lay out the shapes for this monkey. Um, gorilla, oh, is it a gorilla? I think he's just a little monkey, a little chimp. Um, the colors are up to you. If you are worried to use black because it's super dark, we don't have to use black. We can use like a lighter color. Um, you can use maybe like the skin color in his little face. Uh, today I told everybody to bring round and black and white because we always have to bring black and white, but why do I always use them? Ugh. Cinderella painted a bear today and it didn't work out. Hopefully this turns your streak around. Hey, they don't always all turn out. Give them a timeout, like I always say. Put a painting, if you're like not happy with something, a painting you've done, or a piece of like a drawing or something, turn it around, like put it in a closet or face the wall or whatever, and don't look at it for a couple days and work on something else. And then when you look at it with fresh eyes again, you can like kind of have a better idea of how to crack it. Um, or make it better or whatever you were imagining. Sometimes you just need to like step away from it for a while. There's always a, more than a few paintings um, in timeouts in my apartment, as I like to call them. Some of them are looking at me right now, which means they're not in a good timeout, but what can you do? Okay, let's do this. We are gonna start with taking out a little bit of brown. If you don't have brown, then probably the best way to mix it would be with orange and a little bit of blue and red. Maybe even a touch of black, but the tiniest touch of black in the world. I'm using just a good old burnt umber. Yeah, I just, I was, I was like, Cinderella's here. I always remember, can you guys see that? Burnt umber. But I also told you guys to bring red, right? Let me confirm before I just lie to you. I told you to bring white, black, red, orange, and brown. Cool, cool. And red. For people who are new, I just... <laughs> never come prepared, so I apologize. Okay, I'm just gonna start with a little bit of brown. Like we're just doing these outlines and we're gonna be painting black basically over top of all of them, but it's a little bit less intimidating than using straight black. We're gonna use the smallest brush you got. It can be pointed, it can be thinner, it can be thicker. It totally depends on what size your canvas is and what you're comfortable with, but the littler, littler, the better. Oh my gosh. Is this going to be a Mickey Mouse round two where I'm just a disaster? <clears throat> okay, we are going to take this good old paintbrush and we're going to dip it into our water. This is my water tray over here. And you're literally going to scoop 
water from your water dish right onto your palette, right beside. Can you guys even see? Not really. Just gonna move that down a tiny touch. So see the brown here? Just get, I have like so many computers, it's just a mess. Okay, there's a bunch of water beside my brown and I'm just gonna grab a little bit of that pigment into the water and I'm gonna mix her around into a chocolate milky consistency. Okay. Sometimes you might need to add a little bit more water, but remember this is more water than paint. There's hardly any paint in there. It's mostly just, especially it's brown now, it's basically literally chocolate milk, exactly. So I'm just mixing that around. until you get the consistency you want. And you're gonna take a breath because you're ready to start the best painting you've ever made in your life. <laughs> and you're gonna acknowledge where you're gonna place this little dude on your whole canvas because like I say every time, it's very easy to be intimidated by the whole thing and paint him like really small and not utilize the whole space. So you just kind of want to imagine, you can even with your hand, imagine where you want all the things to go. Take a look at your reference photo because it's really important to look at that too. And we're just gonna give him a big head. Remember, it's okay if it's it's not permanent. We can cover over top of it. If the shape is in a perfect circle, like that ain't a perfect circle. So I'm just gonna do a couple rounds of my brush until it looks perfect. I don't really care that it's not straight yet. But I basically kind of go around a couple times until it becomes the circle that you want on the outsides, right? Does that look like a cute big head? Like we can even make it bigger if you want. A real cuteness! A hundred percent. Maybe let's just make his head a little bit bigger. I don't know. I think the bigger the head and the bigger the eyes, the cuter whatever you're making will be. So let's just over exaggerate the crap out of it. Right? Okay, there's a head. Whoop. That was easy, right? Mine's not even in the middle. Not even centered, but whatever. Over it. And from that big circle, we're gonna go down to a smaller circle, okay? This is his little belly. And it's hardly seen in the picture at all, but it's really gonna help us lay out his arms and legs in a nice spot. Right now he already looks hilarious. Whoop. Looks like an upside down snowman. What am I looking for here? He is a bubblehead monkey. Also, again, I always forget to shout out where and what is his name? The original monkey, because I did not paint this monkey down at the bottom. It's by Jeff Bartles? Bartles? Bartels. I'll obviously in the YouTube video I always put their information at the bottom because I don't want to take credit for this cutie little monkey. Um but like I said, I always let people who paint along choose what we're painting. And since it's Nikki's birthday today, obviously she could decide. And she picked this cutie little dude. So I'm not gonna say no. Hopefully Jeff doesn't get mad. But right away I was like, he's perfect. Um, Dark Wind, the deity? Hello, hello. Deity, deity? I don't know how to read apparently. Welcome to my studio. We're painting a monkey. And, uh, cease and desist, yeah. Jeff, I will never paint it as good as Jeff did it, okay, you guys? D at T. D at T. Thanks, you guys. Always helping me pronounce things properly. Like little Maze who left, I butchered his name every time. It took me like four streams to get it right. Okay, we've got a circle. Let's start his little body parts. So really in this little nook right here where his shoulder would go, we're just gonna do a little egg. 
or a bean, whatever you want to call it. Whoop. It's pretty small. It's just the top, like his shoulder. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. It's okay if it folds over his body. It's okay if it doesn't. Right? And now for this bottom part, which are his legs. His legs are in front of his arm, so the are gonna go on top, like, and the shape is gonna go up over top the shape that we've already drawn. Sorry, just stuttering there. So we're gonna start inside, and let's give him, a, oops, a big bean leg down here. We're still using that chocolate milk consistency. We don't want it to be leaving like a thickness, like this should be flat when you shouldn't be able to feel it when you put your hand across it because we want to paint over top of it. We don't want it to be thick, we just want it to be this good old chocolate milky paint. What am I doing here? We've got one bean and we've got another bean. All right. I don't know what he's looking like right now, but it's funny. It does look like a little teddy bear. Okay, and then he's got little feeties, which are basically little rectangles. Is how we're gonna draw them. like a little Buddha bear at the moment. Do you guys want to draw the book? Do you want him reading a book? Or are we just going to put his hands so he can put whatever he wants in there? Okay. Arms, legs, little feeties, a coffee cup. Okay, that'll probably be easier actually. It'll basically just be like a circle with a, okay, 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 we're gonna give him a coffee cup instead. But his arms are still gonna be the same. Ooh, Senderly agrees. Okay, perfect, see? That's the beauty of being at a live, you guys. You decide, that's the best part. Oh, my coffee's cold, okay. He still has another part of his arm. Remember that this leg, like we can't really see it right now, but I'll make it a little darker so you guys can see. Like if this is his leg, it's going to be above everything else, right? And then same here, we'll be on this side. So when we're drawing this other part of his arm, we don't have to go all the way. We'll start down at the corner like his elbow, and we're going to draw another bean. And you're going to close it off, but you're not going to continue it. You're going to close it off at his leg, if that makes sense. This is literally your coffee. Oh my god, you guys, Justin's right. This is just going to be me doing this. <laughs> That's going to have to be my thumbnail, I guess, hey? Already decided. Okay. And same on this side. Let's get that little arm. But remember, it is in front. I mean... His leg is in front of the arm, so when you cap it off, you don't have to like continue the full circle. You can stop at the leg. Whoop. Whoop. Right? Paris thumbnail is the best. <laughs> I don't know. Now that I brought Photoshop in, it's a game changer. <laughs> Thanks, Nikki. You're the best. <laughs> Okay, so he's got little arms. He's got his feet. I've kind of made him a little bit chubbier than the picture, but what that's what we do every time, I guess, right? So, the coffee cup, I'm just trying to picture he'd probably have... Okay. 
Okay, I think that makes sense. We'll go to the coffee cup after. We'll do this. Bye! Miss... I was gonna say Mr. Miss, but I actually don't know. But Deity? Deity? <laughs> See you, thanks for stopping by. Okay, let's go back to this little cutie mouth that we've got. Joe Kaiser! Hello, hello. Welcome to Adult Art Attack. Am I right? <laughs> We're painting a cutie monkey. We're about to put his face on. Okay, let's get that little circle, which is just gonna be the bottom where his mouth is. And we are just gonna go to the bottom of our circle. It's gonna come just a little bit underneath that main circle we drew. We got a circle where his little mouth is gonna go. Super cute. And now let's draw in those eyeballs. And like I was saying before about the bigger the head, the better. Same with his eyes. Like I noticed when I'm trying, there's one painting I'll never forget and I painted it live. It was like a little French bulldog. And um, he just didn't look right to me at the end and I didn't know why. And when I later like looked at the picture side by side, it's because I made the dog's eyes too small. I should have made them like too big and it would have just been like, Key. So in this one, don't be scared to make um, Hunger Games. Yo, yo, yo. Haven't seen you in a long time. We're just painting a cute little monkey. Good to see ya. My painting is on his way to, to smack. He should get it any day. He should, might even already have it. Okay. Let's see. Oh, Cinderella, I was talking about a like a dog that I painted like at a live auction event. So it's not that French Bulldog. I liked that one too. That one was a good one. The one that I'm talking about was at like a live event back when events were actually real. <laughs> Justin was there with me. <laughs> back when he was a Canadian, we matched. Yeah, we literally showed up to the event dressed like we looked like exactly like we we're wearing a very, I was wearing a very patterned dress and he was wearing a, like exactly the same pattern somehow by accident. Twins, I'll show that picture some, I'll show it in my story later. Um, okay. Let's do his little eyeballs, but remember not little, we're doing big eyeballs. Some people it might help for you to do a line down the middle. You don't have to, but sometimes that helps. Just to align things, where are you putting his eyes? Let's just draw a big circle on this side. Oops, remember it's kind of crazy. Been busy with work, man. Tell me about it. Same. I actually was on Pixand already. Monday. Yeah, it was really cool. It was cool that they asked me to be on there. I never was interviewed like that before I get to caffeine and now I've got two under my belt. Interviewed from the comfort of my own studs. Okay, there's an eyeball. Do they post them on YouTube? I didn't even know that. Look at that. I love that. Okay, here we've got another eyeball on this side. And I use that line to show like how far away you should go on both sides, but I'm doing it from the side and I didn't really do that well. But check them big eyeballs out, super cute. Already hilarious. If you want, you can do circles in there, but his eyes are basically all black. We're probably gonna color those in a little differently. And again, proportion-wise, while we're laying all this stuff out, acknowledge, like, his forehead shape. Like, a big forehead is super cute. <laughs> so we want to make sure that when we're drawing in this next part, which is, like, where the skinny part versus the hairy part is, um, acknowledge that you want to leave a lot of room for forehead, okay? So we're still using this chocolate milky consistency. We're going to go just right above his eyes. I'm gonna start here with just like a little U. And then just like we do on other ones, we're gonna play keep away from his eyeball. We're gonna follow the same shape of it, right? 
but come a little closer, but never touch it at the bottom. So see how we have lots of space up here and it gets a little bit thinner down below and then it matches up with that mouth hole we've made or whatever. Lisa, thank you. The picture interview was cool. It's, um, I always get so like nervous for some reason right before it, but then it's like, ah, you're just chatting with friends. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, let's go to this side and do exactly the same thing. It's called a muzzle? Eh, mouth hole. <laughs> mouth hole sounds good. I guess muzzle, see, that, that makes sense. That makes more sense. <laughs> Let me see, okay. We've got that little guy in there. And I'm just looking back and forth to make sure that everything looks okay proportion wise for now. And really the main things that we have to do are the ears, which are just little half circles off the sides. And then same on this side, another little half circle off the side. Oops. Sometimes it helps to use your paintbrush to like align the tops and the bottoms of the ears. Or just wing it. Because I just did that align and I don't think they actually worked out, so. Look at it properly. He's coming along. Okay. He looks like a little skeleton or like with headphones on or something. But we know what he is. Lastly, let's map out that coffee mug and we're just going blind. And you guys know every time I tell you I'm not, I always have to look at reference when I paint something. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna roughly use that as an example. Without getting too like perspective-y we are gonna go right above, below, bleh, below his mouth. But you're gonna go overlap it a little bit because a coffee mug is gonna be in front of his mouth. So we want it to overlap that circle. And let's draw another circle. This is gonna be a fat oval. This is gonna be the top of our coffee mug. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Let me do it a little bit darker for you. See that there? Little half circle. And you're just gonna bring that line down underneath his little hands, which I actually forgot to draw, but we'll figure that out too. And same on this side, bring that line down. And then his feet are gonna be over top of it, so we don't have to really worry about those details at the bottom. And then to make it finalized look like a coffee cup, is we need to make that handle off the side, over top of his little arm. Do you see that there? Right now it just looks like a bunch of brown mess, so maybe we'll have to just kind of clean all that stuff up with another color. But we're getting the point across at least that there's gonna be a coffee cup there. Okay, beauty? How's that, you guys? <laughs> it doesn't look like a coffee cup at the moment, but it's gonna be, I promise. Alrighty, last step is glasses. We'll do that on top of everything when it's finished. Cool, that's good for now. Grunge Mania, I'd be crying, can't handle the brown paintings. <laughs> okay, when we have to do brown, you should just do like orange or something. And then it'll be just like brighter and colorful or more colorful, sorry. And um, 
then you won't like hate it as much. I think it's just the brown that you have hates you too. Maybe you guys just aren't meant to be friends. <laughs> but you're right, it did. It has challenged you every time. Choose a different color instead of brown. Oh, so burnt sienna is not bad. Burnt sienna is just a little bit more red. Hence the burnt. Just kidding, I don't know if that's why it's called burnt. But sienna is um, like an orangey redder color. Not the brown I want. <laughs> He tried, okay? He tried. Okay. We are going to start by painting our little monkey's face features. Because then the brown, the black hair is going to puff over top of it, okay? So that's why I told you guys to bring brown, red, and orange is mostly because we're going to just use the brown you have, add a bunch of white, or just take white and add a little bit of brown. Um, and a little touch of red and a little touch of orange just to get a little bit of a nicer color to make that skin color. There's way better, not better, there's way more official ways to color, to mix skin colors, but we're just not even gonna get into it because it's a journey and a half. This is just like beginner's class, right guys? So I'm taking out a little bit of red, I'm taking out a little bit of orange. I use cadmium orange, sorry, Cinderella. <laughs> cadmium orange and cadmium red. Would you look at, yeah, would you look at that? Oh wow, too close, Tay. Cadmium orange, cadmium red. Which one's used and abused? She almost done. Okay. <sighs> so, I'm just gonna take a little bit of a bigger brush now. So remember, up to you with what size you're doing. Like, I saw somebody did a Baby Yoda on, like, a canvas, like, this big. So obviously, if you're doing something really small, it blows my mind that you guys can do it. I think it's amazing. But ignore my brush sizes because it's very personal to what you're doing. Uh, Justin, is that a light orange and red? Yes, they are light oranges and reds. Let me see. Actually, I have. That helps better, probably. Why don't I just show you that bottom? We're not using loads of these colors, so don't worry about taking too much onto your palette. You're gonna take by taking a start by taking a glob of white. Meep, meep. A little touch of brown, it's a powerful color, so you don't need too much of it. Always do little tiny amounts to add in um, because it's easier, not easier. You can add more, but it's almost impossible to take away. So you always take too much paint. It's literally the same. I tell you guys this every single time to be careful, but then still I waste so much paint literally every day. So don't worry. <laughs> I'm trying to teach people who haven't got the bad habit yet not to even start there. Okay, now that I've got a little brown, it's gonna be tough because I can already see it on your screen. It literally just looks like white. So we'll see how it goes if I, if I can show you nicely. But we're gonna go back in and, oh wow, that just made it straight orange. When we're talking about like amounts of each color when you're mixing this like skinny tone brown, you want probably most white. And then next step orange, next step brown, next step red. Like a little bit less orange, a little bit less red than that, a little less brown. Did that make sense or did I just, I feel like my brain just mixed those up. You want most white, and then you want the most, like a little bit less orange, a little bit less brown, a little bit less red. Red being the least amount of what you want to mix in there. I just added too much orange. Mixing colors is tough for me, as obviously, as I teach them, apparently. Um, you mix portrait pink. Okay, don't worry, you don't have to trash it. Add just a little bit of orange and a little bit more brown. Realistically, you could just put brown and white if you want, but adding the orange and red just gives it a little bit more warmth to it. Like that literally just looks like white. So that is on color problems with my camera. But what we are gonna do with this color, once we all mix the color that we like, again, always look at your reference photo. 
you want it to be a little bit more yellow, again, I'm looking at it on two different screens and it's like different color on each of them. So you know what? You do you, boo-boo. <laughs> okay. We're not doing no chocolate milky consistency. This, oh, it kind of looks like my skin color almost. Oh, I'm frozen. Um, we're not doing no chocolate milky consistency. We want more paint than water, but you do want a wet paint brush, unless you're Adam and you dry brush, right? Adam, he's the dry brush master. <laughs> okay, and now we're just gonna go into this little guy and we are just gonna schlob on that paint. Do, do, do. I'm being kind of conscious of my brush strokes. Like, I'm gonna follow the eye, I'm gonna go around it. I'm not gonna go like left, right, around, scribbly. I'm gonna always follow the shape that I am in. If you imagine, like, he's gonna have wrinkles on his forehead, so I'm always gonna paint my paints left to right. Or use my brush left to right, sorry. And again, we're covering up all our mistakes that we don't like, all those extra little lines we don't want. And you're gonna come down to his snout and come about a third, like two thirds of the way down. So just about where the line meets of the big circle. I'm just going top down, top down, following the curve. Yep. See how I made a line here? That's where his little mouth, that's like the top part of his cutie little mouth. Right. Uh, Svengali! So glad to see you. How are you? Are you painting? Just kidding, you just got here, so that's fair. Uh, Adam says he's gonna brush, dry brush the Batman you did one day, which makes me realize we haven't done so many now. Sorry, we're not even fans. No, no, you guys are the real OGs, don't you worry. You're some of the real OGs. I can't say the real OGs, but you're up there in the OGs books. I don't expect you guys to paint all day, every day. Alice Grace! I saw, I met you on Pig Sand, didn't I? I recognize that little picture. How are you? Thanks for sharing my broadcast. Look at this cute little monkey that we're painting. He's coming along. <laughs> All right, we're still doing that skin color, right? And now underneath here, it matters where you made that coffee cup up to. We're just gonna do one little swipe that's not as long as the top mouth, right? Let's just do like a little half. It's not gonna go as long. The top mouth is longer than the bottom mouth. <laughs> Look at my good terminologies today. <laughs> I love it, I think I can catch up on my tablet. Ooh, Alice Grace, yes! This is the shapes that we started with, if that helps. <laughs> I believe in you. Okay, you guys, we're still going around. around. We can fill up those ears. And again, we're using like pretty thick paint. We're covering up like I cut me personally, like the painter that I'm, that I am the messy painter that I am. I like that the bottom um, outlines that we did are kind of popping through here a little bit. Like I think that looks cool. I like that look. Some people don't like that. You can cover over it completely. You're going silent. No worries, Alice. I'm excited to see your updates. But again, totally up to you guys. If you want to cover up those messy lines, if you want to keep some of them peeking through, like see, I kept some peeking, because I think that's cool. I don't know, it adds some depth and some fun. I'm all about like showing your process in your paintings, because that's exciting to me. Um, okay. So we've got ears, we've got a face, we've got a mouth. We've got to draw some little hands on here. Right? And it's going to be easy because hands are the worst in the world and so hard to teach and draw and do. So we're just going to ad lib hands, right? So we're going to go into this little nubbin that we made and we're just going to do a shape. Like it's basically just going to be a square. In art school, we always learned like it's helpful for you yourself. Like imagine you holding a coffee mug. How, what would your hands look like? 
right? Like they would be cupping it. If you're a little monkey, they'll be smaller. So we're just doing a little shape that's just gonna imply that. Same on this side. So let's just do right where the coffee cup mug handle is gonna be. We're gonna draw his little skin color right up to there. And then we're gonna go square out these little blocks, which will be his feet. His little feeties. Right? How is that? The color looks so different to me than it does to you on the screen. It just looks like brown, and this to me is like rosy pinky. Well, you make it whatever color you want, you guys. <laughs> oh, and I just covered up the monkey. Okay. And then to those of y'all who've been here before, what are we gonna do? We gotta do a lighter layer, right? To add some more shape and dimension and depth into his face. So we're just gonna go into that same color that we just used to color all that stuff. And we're just gonna add a little bit of white to it, okay? And let's see if you guys will even see this on the screen. I might make it like obnoxiously white so that you guys can see. So it's not picking up that contrast. But remember, we're talking about these, when I was talking about, think of your face, like I have the biggest forehead wrinkles of all time. But like, see how where mine go? They shape with your eyebrows, and so with your eyebrow and your eyes. So same with him, you're gonna put this little rivet. Whoop. Oh yeah, you guys can kind of see it. If you wanna use a smaller brush, go for it. All right. We can do one more underneath it. Just another little. It makes him look a little bit angry. Oops, that you can't see. Makes him look a little bit angry at the moment, but we'll figure that out. Okay, we still have that same color on our brush. And we're gonna apply an eyelid on where our eyeballs are gonna go. So right on top of that big circle that we are gonna color in darker. See how we put, I followed the shape and we kind of made a little eyelid on top of that. Same on this side. My hands are so shaky right now. Now he looks old. He went from grumpy to old to concerned. It's his big eyeballs that are gonna make him look like a little baby. <laughs> and right down the center, we've got, let me again zoom into this picture here. Why won't you do it? Okay. And right down, we're just going to do a little line following this eye on the left and a little line following this eye on the right. See how, again, just like following the shape. He's kind of being very gizmo-y at the moment. If for some of you, you feel like that white line is too definite and too like stark, like you can add a little bit more of those other colors in to bring it down a little bit. Remember, you guys painting, let me know if something looks weird or off. Holler at you, girl. And in his little nose here, we basically are just gonna draw a triangle, like a tiger nose or a cat or dog nose. I don't know why I said tiger first. Just a little triangle. It's gonna be the black lines around it that make it more monkey-esque. And then, from the line that we decide was his top lip, we are going to add a little more water on our brush than what we've been using. We're gonna start at the bottom, like at his lip line, 
And we're just gonna pull up in rough little brush strokies. And again, kind of following the shape. So when you're on the outside, it's kind of following these outside curves. And when it comes into the middle, they're straight up, but they're just rough lines to just add a little bit of texture in there. Do you see that? It looks so blown out on the screen to you guys. Just gonna have to deal with it. Okay. Oops, I didn't mean to do that, but you can, I guess, underneath his eyes, we can add a couple of the lighter colors. We're going to his ear, we're just going to do one fold, one line of lighter. You see how the ears are kind of just starting to grow as we block out these different shapes. Same on this side, still following the shape, we're going to do one little line. Again, they're very subtle value changes, but in the end, It'll show up a little more. One more little half loop in that both ears. I'm all about trying to imply shapes with the least amount, or imply things with the least amount of detail. I ain't about doing super tedious little details, but just applying things with a couple slobs of paint and then all of a sudden it looks like it from afar. What a dream for a lazy artist like me. Okay, and same in his little hand. We're just gonna do a couple little swipes of lines to imply little fingers. both sides. One, two, three, four. You love that. Back to lurking. Hey, thanks for coming and let me know. It's just because people can get so into a painting, right? And you're so close to it and you're looking at this like little tiny detail being like, I can't get it right. You have to remember that like most 97 to maybe 99% of the people looking at your painting are not even going to see that because one, they look at it from far away. Like, look up close how, like, weird all these shapes are. Like, what is that? But far away, he's coming along a little bit better, you know? So that's another thing always taught in art school was always take a step back from your painting. It's easy to get stuck in it, just, like, so close and so enthralled in it. And then you take a step back and you're like, oh, wow, that hand I'm drawing is actually way too small to go along with the whole painting. I spent four hours on it. From experience, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> that didn't happen. That happened 110%. <laughs> happened more than once. <laughs> okay. And now we're going to go to his little feeties. And again, you guys, we're doing very simple. We're not going to get as into detail as the drawing at the bottom is because it takes years to learn how to draw hands and feet. So we're just going to try to do a quick little cheater's way. And we're going to start by just drawing a light line down the left side of that foot. And we are going to draw, like we're starting to draw a foot, a little toe out and down. See that? And then same thing, you're going to go right above that toe. And you're going to go up and down again, bring another toe. Like cake decorating, end result is what matters. Exactly. Like I even love, like, again, I don't know loads about cake decorating. I just watch a lot of dessert shows. <laughs> Man. Where like one person was like trying to ice it and then it got a little crummy. So they got a little crummy in the icing. So instead of ditching the whole icing, they just put crummies throughout the whole icing and made it look like marbly or something. And it was like, look, nobody would even know that by mistake they made this beautiful cake. Anyway, um, one, two, everything's cake. <laughs> and hey, Cinderella says it's all about the flavor. Hey, that's if a cake doesn't taste good, is it even a cake? 
I'm gonna add one more little foot in there. I'll bring that close. It's literally just a bunch of upside down L's really to make those little feet. And same on this side, let's make a lighter line down the outside of it. Right? And then we do the same thing. Let's just go out like you're drawing a straight toe, but then come down. And then out, down, and above, oops, and then above that again, out and down. We've got funny little feet that we'll draw little nails on later. But since this is a monkey, we can't forget about that weird little thumb he's got down here. So let's just add a line underneath all of those little L's we made and finish off the shape. Does that look weird as heck right now? Yeah, it does. But when we get some shadows in there, it'll be a dream. Same on this side. We don't actually see his foot on this side, so we're not going to worry about that weird little toe on that side yet. Okay. Does it feel weird? It sh probably should. Okay. So now, I'm going to go back to my little brush. The one that we started out with. If we're ready. Sorry, I feel like I'm going really fast today. Tell me to slow down if you need me to. Are we ready to go? I'll have a water break. Full speed ahead. All right, girl. Okay. Um, what we're going to do now. Ashlyn! so long. Nice to see your name down there. How are you doing? There are lots for you to choose through. Okay, and Alice Grace already caught up. What a champ. All right. We're using that little brush and we are going to grab some brown and we're going to go back into that color that we were using. And I know like people again who have done my paint nice before, usually we would paint this really dark and paint those lights on top. But it's just, again, I've seen some people send me in some pictures with their paint and sometimes it just doesn't work with certain qualities. So now we're just gonna add a little bit touches of dark value to bump up all those shapes that we did. I don't know if you can see, it's like the color that we, let me put it on here so that you guys can see what the difference is. So it should still have the same, like it should be in the same family of that color that we've been using, but see how now it's just a touch darker. So we're gonna get some different values in there. So good, parent life is amazing. I got to start figuring out a time to paint though. Hey, I. I don't know how people do it with babies. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. Good to hear the parent life is amazing though. I cannot imagine. I can hardly keep myself straight, let alone a child. Okay, so <laughs> we've got in the ear that dark brown that's mixed in with the color that we've been using before. And we're just defining some of those shapes in his ear. So we're just going on the inside of those half circles that we already drew, we're just gonna draw another one, but just a darker line, okay? And same over here. Let's just come on the inside of that light line that we drew. Ashlyn, just what a nice familiar name. It's funny, our groups keeps changing because during quarantine, we had lots of regulars that came together every Tuesday, Thursday, but most of those people got back to their jobs. So they either are working right now or they just can't do it on a weekday or they had babies like Ashlyn. It's 
We're just making new crews over here. So it's great to see the old regulars come back. So I was just talking instead of painting, but how are those ears looking? We can add a little bit of shape in the bottoms. And we're still using like more paint than water, but we have a good chunk of water on your brush. Good chunk of water? Does that make sense? Not really. But a good amount of water on your brush, okay? We're gonna decide where you want the top of that nose to go. We're gonna do a nice little line. Again, I'm heavily looking at the um, uh, reference photo as to where I'm placing everything. Like I'm gonna look at, like when I look here, like in relation to where his eyes are, where's the nose? I've missed watching it. Hopefully I can make the Tuesday's paint night live. Sorry to tell you that it's not going on Tuesday right now. <laughs> I'm in the middle of some crazy jobs at work, um, for work, I mean, and they're done September 8th. So for the last couple of weeks and for the next week, I have been just Thursdays. Things have changed around here, I know. But hey, Tuesdays, you could try to do a paint night one on YouTube though, right? But Thursday, yeah, hopefully see you Thursday. <laughs> okay. So we've got the line on top of the nose. And if you guys still had that center line of where your monkey's middle of his head is, you can use that as a reference, but there's just a little line down the very center of that nose. And to make his funny little nostrils, remember how we did a triangle that's like a dog's nose? We're gonna go right on the outside of that triangle and you are gonna make a line that's thicker at the top and gets a little thinner at the bottom. Same on this side. A little thicker at the top, gets a little thinner at the bottom. I'm still using that like brown that's lightened up a little bit. I'll be using blacks to kind of finish clean, darken, strengthen everything up at the end. I don't know what word's the best. Okay. And then you can come down to wherever you decide to make the top of your monkey's mouth and let's just make a line straight across. So I have no idea what we're painting on Thursday. Like, do you have an idea? <laughs> I always have to decide by Sunday, but I usually don't know until Sunday. But Sunday is when I change all my calendars and everything around to what's happening. So if you don't catch it or if I don't say it on here, um, you can always catch my Instagram. I'll post about it or here on um, caffeine at the bottom is my little info and the schedule is on there too. Am I late? Just like a little late, but no, you can, but you can hang out. You're not late. You're just late for the start of the painting. That's all. A meow. Is that a cat owl? And Cinderella says a chihuahua. Oh, a chihuahua could be cute. We could do a chihuahua. Okay, we still have got this light brown, and we're going to come down to these little weird feet that we did, right? And first, we're going to go to the first L that we drew. And we are gonna draw one little half line underneath it. You guys can hardly see those, but. And then I'm gonna come down and scoop that little toe in. Do you guys see the L's that we originally drew and how now I've used it to make a little loop like a toe? So I drew a line underneath and then this one goes underneath the L. See that? And the beauty that this is a monkey's foot is that it literally goes, you're gonna bring it up covering the L and when you come back around, you're just gonna come all the way off the foot. Look at that. If this is super hard, let me know, please. Cause I'm trying to make it, the, ow, I just punched my face. The easiest I can, cause they are feet and it's 
small d you see. And we're basically just going to do that to all the L's. So then from there, you're going to come up and do the L and just circle it at the bottom. The thing that's nice is it's monkey feet, not a human foot. So it, just, oh, it has room to be weird. T-Rex, wait, no, let's do that for Adam's beating in November. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, let's do for sure. Let's do T-Rex on Adam's birthday. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Just remind me, because I'll probably forget, but I want to do that for sure. <laughs> okay, so we've got one foot in there. And now these last couple feet, they get skinnier as they go. And if you want to add a little small one in there, but you don't gotta. And same thing, you're just gonna trace that little bottom line that you did, but you're gonna give it a little bit of a curl. And there's a weird monkey foot. <laughs> did I teach that terribly and is it actually hard? <laughs> Please let me know. <laughs> it's all in the L's. It's all in the L's. And same on this side, you can do exactly the same thing. The key is just making this line come above the first one. And then just loop that little ale. Oh, wow, I made his foot a little skinny, but that's okay. We're living with it. You want to nibble these cutie little toes? <laughs> I love that so much. Uh, but what am I doing here? I got distracted by the nibbles. Okay, I'm still just circling those L's that we originally did before. But I say circle because you're just curving the bottom. You're using the original L shape to see where the next toe goes. And I know that we made these a rectangle, but we can loop that down a little bit. Gotta go catch a later skater. See you, Stacy, and happy birthday to the B-Day girl, 100%. Mickey, Mickey. Oh, am I, am I frozen to you guys? Um, Cause on my computer, I'm frozen. Not on this one, but on this one. Okay, if it's good for at least one of you, then that's just a me problem. Okay, um, any big personal projects I'm working on? So not personal, um, but like commission wise, yes. Here, let me teach this foot and then I'll explain to you guys the uh, big paintings are actually right behind you. So maybe I can show you them. Okay, um, we are gonna finish this foot quick uh, with the same brown color that we're using. We're gonna apply some of those little feet wrinkles. So we're gonna start under that bottom foot toe that we just made. We're going to do a little curved line down. So weird. Weird. It's so weird that that's frozen. Okay. Um, we do a curved line down. You guys, blink if you're still here. <laughs> My computer says I'm not live right now. Are you here still? Blink. Okay, perfect. Weird. What the? Man. My computer's having a full mental breakdown. Okay, guys. Good to see. <laughs> Blink. <laughs> Sorry, that's just like a thing that me and my boyfriend do when we are working, like when he works out of town or if I'm working crazy at home. And if we haven't talked all day, because you know when you're just like so busy with work that you don't even feel like you have a second to text or anything we always just do blink if you're alive and then you just like send an emoji or something to be like i'm here but i don't have time to talk to you <laughs> so that's where blink if you're alive comes from um okay we're getting these little feet here um there is a curve and then um uh, from that curve let's do another curve because they're just wrinkly like realistically you can draw a bunch of little scraggly lines if you want but we are gonna color that in with dark as well. But if you look at that picture and you squint, you can see that in his little feet, they're shaded inside of it, right? 
So same on this side. Let's uh, fill that in where the shadow would go and give him a couple little foot wrinkles. Wrinkle, wrinkle, wrinkle. Completely up to you if you want to do wrinkles. Some people might hate the wrinkles and think that it will destroy everything. So don't do the wrinkles if you don't want to. <laughs> but Kay, are those like some crazy little feet we've got going on? Let me know if they're a nuisance. I don't know if that was a hard thing to teach or not, but. I can't tell if he's an old man monkey or a baby monkey. I know. Yeah, maybe the wrinkles will push back the wrinkles a little bit because wrinkles usually mean like old man. So we'll see. We'll see. The big eyes, I think, are what's going to get it. Okay, we still have this same lightish brown color. Again, if you, you know how I teach the basics, basics, and then if you want to pick up and add more details and do anything extra to it, that is completely your choice. Um, one way to add a little more detail would be to add a little more of that same pink color we're using to brighten up this brown a little bit. And same thing, you can go in and add a couple little more wrinkles, a couple little more um, like shadowed spots, textured spots, just to give it a little more, I know I'm gonna say it again, depth, but that's something extra. That's not something that everybody has to do. It completely depends on how into it you want to get. But we're lastly with this brown color. We're going to come into these hands. And again, hands are difficult, but we're just going to go over those little shapes that we've already drawn. And you're just going to do a line. We're just going to imply that he has fingers on there. Okay and then just cap them off. Oh, Dresden! I was missing your little name on there. How are you? Good to see you, better late than ever, of course. And same thing, we are just with that brown. Doing those lines just straight down to where the shapes that we already made were and curve them down. If you want to be a little more detailed, you can make the top finger a little shorter. So you cap it a little bit shorter than the bottom finger, but realistically, we're just implying hands and we're not gonna do too much other than that. And back to how much detail you wanna add in there. If you wanna go start adding in some wrinkles, that's completely up to you. But you can add some little wrinkles on those fingers. But you don't gotta. Ooh, like that was weird. You've missed at least two. Hey, I won't lie to you, Justin. There has been more than a few. <laughs> you're, you're so kind. <laughs> because look at this little guy. Like, how do you not say it? That's the definition of him is that word. Okay, but see guys, those hands are just like, we're not gonna do much other than that. We're not going to do much other than that. Just implying that there's hands there. All right, so now we're basically just... Should we decide what color should the coffee cup be? Nikki, birthday girl, you decide. We're just going to lightly cover in that coffee mug. Realistically, anybody at home, paint the mug whatever color you want. Um, blue or green or blue and green. Okay, I'm gonna take out a blue first. Or a bluey green. Why don't we just go right in the middle and let's do aqua. Bright aqua green is what I'm gonna use. Uh, where's my camera today? Can you do it, camera? Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, bright aqua green, beauty. So when it comes to our mug, it's gonna be very straightforward. Use whatever size brush fits best or feels right for you. And you want it to be pretty thick, like you don't want much water in there. We're gonna start by literally just filling it in. And you can use this time to like clean up some of those edges if you want. 
I'm trying to be pretty conscious, not perfect, but kind of conscious of my brush strokes because a coffee cup is a smooth surface, right? So if your brush strokes are all whatever, all over the place, it won't feel as smooth, but also it's not a big deal if you enjoy painting all over the place. That's a different story. And we're filling it in with the color straight out of the tube because to get some lighter values on there, we're just gonna add some white to it. So this is straight out of the tube aqua. Just cleaning up some edges. Oh yeah, Alice Grace, you weren't here before. In the picture, he's reading a book, but then we decided to make it a coffee cup just for fun. And realistically, you can fill in this whole thing because the lid opening is just going to be, it's probably just going to be a black hole, but... Let's just bring that around. And of course, paint that handle too. Right, we're gonna just put like a little black line in there to imply the top of the coffee mug. Oh my gosh, I just spilled water everywhere. Oops, but you see where the opening is gonna be, where that little oval that we drew is gonna be, it's gonna go inside there. And up to you if you wanna work wet on wet. Some people don't like to. Sometimes it's nice to see what type of things can come out of it. We're gonna add a little bit of white to your teal or aqua or whatever color you wanna call this. And it's okay if your mug's wet. And then we are going to just bring a little bit of this lighter color just around the rim on the top. Freestyling stressed you out? <laughs> I know, it can, I know. There's a few things in Paint Nice that I've been told have been stressful. One of them was when I painted two at one time, when I did like a rainbow one and a not rainbow one, and you could decide which one you wanted to do. <laughs> that stressed people out too. You can even go with pure white. If your paint's a little too wet, you don't have to mix it first on your palette. You can go with pure white into your coffee mug. Let's see this and if your mug is already wet it will blend in with the color yes that was fun I did that you did too see like some people oh and Ashton was there too see some people loved it some people hated it I was like that's how my brain works you guys <laughs> welcome to the show I know it's gonna be hard to see, but you're gonna want one little white line on the back of where the mug is gonna, uh, the back of the mug. I'll bring this closer so you guys can see it. But see, when I work wet and wet, it'll get some nice value in there. It was fun, you just gotta trust the process, exactly. Oh my gosh, you guys, do you wanna see? You'll be the first people to see. Me and Kenzie are like making up um, like merch, like sweaters, trust the process sweaters and cutie sweaters. And I haven't shown anybody yet, but I can show you guys what some of the mock-ups look like. So I don't know if some of you guys saw my story I posted, I bought this like sparkly iron on stuff for clothes. So the color in the background isn't right, but can you guys see? Come on, go smooth. There we go. So the background isn't gonna be that pink and black. It's gonna be like pink glitter or teal glitter. Actually, basically this color, like my tattoo, right? So I have like that pink and that blue. It's gonna be those two colors. I'm really excited, we're trying some soon. And we'll see how they go. We're trying a bunch of different stuff, but that's the first batch. 
that we're gonna play with. I also brought some like holographic iron-on stuff too, so some of it might be holographic. Okay, there's the mug. See how there are some light spots? It's the whitest at the top and around the rim here. Oops, I just made a mess of that. I'll clean that up. Okay. <laughs> Runs in glitter. Yep, it's Tay. Exactly, right? I'm really excited about it. And I never thought of it, but you guys, like, so many people always on the streams were like, make merch. And I never thought, and now. Here we go. We might make some, like, pins, like, enamel pins. We'll see. Okay, everybody. It's basically time to just start slobbing on some fur. And it might be one of the most fun parts, okay? We're going to take some blackout. But don't worry. You don't need to take loads. More than usual, but don't take too much. Because black, like I said, lasts forever. Goes a long way. And I always waste so much of it because I take way too much out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, shout out to Kenzie for those sweaters, man. She... He's amazing and has been helping me out loads in the studio these days. Making me new merch, making me a new website, helping me pack my orders. She's a gem. Okay, what paintbrush should we use? We've got black on our palettes and we are going to get... Why can't I find my favorite paintbrush? Sure, let's... I don't know, like a medium. It's like a me. Oh, Kenzie's here! <laughs> Hi, Kenzie. I was just talking up. I didn't even know you're here. Um, uh, oh, good night, Lisa. You're crazy. You gotta wake up so early. Well, Kenzie, I was just pumping your tires. Yeah, I was saying how. Shut. I just showed everybody this. The trust the process you made. Okay, everybody, it is time to make some monkey. Um, realistically, I guess this is a PSA. You can paint your background at this stage if you want. Because we're painting fluffy furs and sometimes it's hard to get your background to be flush with those furs. So you can take the time to paint the background if you want. Um, 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 um. Should we do that? Should we just paint the background first or should we just start furring? I feel like the only reason why I don't do backgrounds all the time in my paint nights is because they're so straightforward that I don't like, I want to teach the thing and then you can decide what you want to do. So we'll just do that. We'll start with black. Black like my soul on this medium paintbrush. And you want a little bit of water in there, but you want to also make sure that you have white on your palette ready to go too, okay? And should we just, let's start by coloring in these eyeballs. So you're just gonna fill in those spots. And even more, if you wanna make them bigger than you did originally, this is the time to do it. And let's just fill in those eyeballs. Sorry, I can't breathe when I do that. And remember, the bigger the eyeball, the better. Right now, it's just a black hole, but it's almost easier because there's not much dimension to these eyeballs. Okay, we've got that big black eyeball. Your soul ain't black, it's owned already. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's a little black. <laughs> And then let's get another eyeball in this side. Yeah, this little cup's cute, isn't it? And let's get another eyeball on this side. Come on. <laughs> Why isn't it? Get them in there. Okay. This paintbrush sucks. Two black soul eyeballs. 
Think Steve Buscemi. <laughs> okay, right? And the one thing that's nice about, or not nice, but cutie about his little eyes is just make a little, right out the middle of the side, let's make one little line out. This paintbrush might be a little too big for that. Same on this side, just a little out, okay? Just like a little wing of eyeliner almost. And they're gonna stay like scary dark soul holes for a while, <laughs> okay? <laughs> we need that to dry before we do anything else on that. We're gonna go back into our pure black and we are gonna start fluffing up some furs, okay? And remember, pick a paintbrush that works for you. Maybe this will be too thick. Maybe you want a thinner one. You'll feel it out as you go. But we're gonna start by just like literally doing and sorry, wait, I saw somebody say it should do a watercolor background look. 100% we're going to do that. And because then it's easy to fill. If it's not thick, it's easier to come close up to these little hairs. The paint that you're using is realistically more paint than water on your brush. But then see how long I'm using this same brush. Like I haven't loaded it again. The more that I use it, the drier it gets and the more like fluffy the little hair pieces will be and you want it to go like over top like see how it's like fluffing out over top the shape same with when you come by his ears like you want it to fluff over top his ear a little bit like show that his ears behind all that cutie fluff <clears throat> and keep it coming And like you can use this time to like reshape his head if you want it to be like puffier on the top or etc etc I don't know you can do whatever your heart desires we're gonna do some little puffy puffy I'm sticking mostly to the outskirts at the moment because we want these to dry nice and black like thick black thick black opaque black I am not sure. Oh my gosh, she's already so funny. <laughs> and keep it coming. So I'm not going to come. Actually, yeah, we'll go. Just around the edges again, you want these to go over the edge a bit. Bring it close in. So again, that you get that overlap look. So it's not just a clean line. You wanna show that he's fuzzy as heck. So it's overflowing over top of his brow line, see? He looks so scary with these eyeballs right now. And again on this side. The glasses will also be optional. I think when we did the frog ages ago, the frog was like at the start of quarantine. The glasses were optional for people. Some people didn't want to do them. Some people thought they ruined their painting after they did the glasses. And then some people thought they, they hated their painting until they did the glasses. So it's really personal, whatever you want. Okay, get that fluff going. Again, I'm consciously not filling in that middle part yet because we kind of want to work wet on wet in there. So we're not going to go there yet. We're just going to come into some of these spots and add in some pure black. He does look like the creepy monkey that claps. He does. You're so right. Also, I guess this is a moment too. Again, this is like my whiteout technique, I always say. Like if you think his mouth is too big, like you can now go in with your black and you can carve away at the sides a little bit until maybe it's a little bit smaller, like a smaller size that you want. That's again, completely 
That's the beauty of acrylic paint is you can paint over anything and just fix any errors or things that have changed as you go. How is that? Looks like he has little black armpits <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> and, uh... Looks like Mark Kamat... Isn't Mark Kamachi? Is that that, like, Bright Creek? That's the teacher, isn't it? Oh my god, that is so funny. <laughs> okay, and then what am I doing here? We're gonna go to the bottom of his little legs. And we are gonna fluff out those hairs. Fluff, 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 fluff. Again, you want him to be fluffy on the outside. Same on this side. Let's make him, oops, I have a little bit too much water in my brush. Don't worry guys, we'll get him out of the scary stage soon, okay? I promise. And above his knee, so remember, like, this leg is going to be in front, right? So we don't want to cover over top of it. But we are going to put some shadow darker hairs on the arm behind him. Right? Do you see what I meant by that? I'm following the shape of that leg, because the leg is in front. So we want to show a differentiation in the value and depth there. Okay. Even in between his little toesies, if you left some space, if you don't have space, don't worry about it. But if there's a little extra weird space in there, you can add some black in there too. Right? And the top of your mug. So you're just filling in that oval, but making sure you leave some of the back of the mug color in there, right? Okay. Now the reason that I didn't go in with everything yet is because if you just went with pure black across this whole monkey, he would just be flat. He wouldn't look like anything. He would just look like a big black blob, and we want some dimension in there, right? So the reason why I didn't do it right away is because it's easier to work wet on wet when we do this stage. So we have some white, right? We have some white ready on our palette. We're gonna do the same thing as we were doing before. We're gonna go into our black and we're just gonna puff up some hairs here. You've got a little bit of water on your brush, but it's more paint than water. Meet, 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 meet. And then look at that reference photo that we have. It's dark right here on his forehead, but then when you get to the top, it gets a lot lighter. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna go in with, your paintbrush can still have black paint on it. It's fine, you don't have to clean your brush. It's okay if it has some black on it. You're gonna go into your white paint. You can mix your brush around a little bit, but it's okay if it goes almost pure white on. And into that black paint, we are going to bring this light gray color. Do you see that on there? Is there a big enough differenti differentiation on the screen? And you're gonna go right into that wet paint with this lighter white on your brush. And you see how that just like blends in so nicely? But again, remember, it's nice that we are working on wet paint. It adds a little bit of extra blending power in there. Sorry, my ring light is adding. It's hard for me to see with that reflection on there. Okay, but we're adding some more of that lighter color. Sides. Okay. 
Can you hear those people yelling outside? So an ambulance is today, it's fights on the street. Uh, mug and coffee equals caffeine, or is that my subconscious addiction? Hey, actually, look at that, oops. It by accident turned out to that because he, uh, you weren't at the start. So this is Nikki's birthday stream and she took the night off so she could paint along with us today. So I let her decide what we were painting and she chose this cutie little monkey. And then just at the start when I was like, who, do you guys want to paint a cup? Or I mean a cup. Should you guys want to paint a glass, the book, or should we paint something else? And Nikki said a coffee cup. And we thought that was a perfect idea. And then as I was here drinking my coffee, Justin's like, you, that is you with the mug and your glasses. So in the end, we're actually just painting me as a cutie little monkey. <laughs> okay. How is that? Um, Blending of the lighter white in your monkey's forehead going. Sorry, I can't see with my reflection on there. Right? Puffy, puffy. Remember being all very conscious of your brush strokes, always going up, down, or down, up. I wouldn't go left to right when you're trying to imply these little hairs. Happy birthday. Oh, well, thank you for the cake. But also, happy birthday to Nikki. <laughs> okay, how's them apples? Okay, how's that? And we're basically going to do that to our whole monkey, okay? And that's the reason why I didn't paint the dark in down here is because I knew it was going to dry. So now I'm going to go in with that pure black. Okay. And then go right back in with that white into that black paint and add just a couple more little reflecty lines. Ashlyn's gonna try to paint three this weekend. That's your goal. You haven't painted since Baby Yoda. Ashlyn, there are so many to choose from. Who do you wanna do? Go through, go on my YouTube and pick some. Oh, I know which ones you wanna do. Okay. So we are just going to Add the black in there. Sorry, I keep putting my head in front of it, but my light's just not in a good spot today or something because it's reflecting so hard I can't even sheet. But like, look how fluffy that is. Isn't that so cute? Okay. And we're gonna go down into his arms, but the one thing that's gonna be a little different is we're not gonna start with just pure black in these spots. We're gonna start with black with a touch of white in it already. Just because if you look, his arms are significantly lighter than the rest of his body. So see, it's not that much of a difference. Like that's not pure black. It's just a lighter gray that I'm going on with wet right now. Fluffing out the sides, fluff, fluff, fluff. And then same on the bottom. But be conscious of that oval shape that we drew to make his arm because we want that to be the lightest point. Oops. Again, working in the wet. Wet on wet is our friend today. Just 
zoned out for a second there, but here we go. There's his, there's his little land. And up on the top, we've got a little bit of highlight in his back of his arm, but not too much. And remember, you always look at your reference photo. I'll shove it down your throats every time. It's very helpful to look at what you're trying to paint and try to solve problems. Try to solve the problem, I mean, with paint. Okay, maybe before I want to do Van, Elephant, Cactus, and this monkey. Oh, the cactus is a good one. It's a nice, like, easy one. I remember, guys, I'm still going around. I'm doing the same thing. Nothing new and exciting. The only thing that's different is I'm starting with a little bit lighter of a gray than pure black. But to you guys, it probably looks almost pure black anyway. So really, who cares? But you're going to go in and make it fluffy, fluffy on the outsides with that dark paint. And then you go in with your white right on the dark. If your paintbrush isn't making as nice little hair brush strokes as it was before, it might just be because it was too loaded or there's too much water on it. So always use your rag over here to give her a good dry off. Okay, okay, okay. Fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. Okay, well, if you haven't been here since Baby Yoda, that was in April, I think. Because it was for Comic Expo. Yeah, it was in April. Girl, you haven't painted since April. That means you have like a five-month-old, right? How old is she? She. I think it was a she. I think she was a she, not it, sorry. <laughs> I think she was a she. Somebody brought up how we were talking about ugly babies, because remember before you, gave, <laughs> before you gave birth to your baby, we were talking about baby portraits? <laughs> Someone's like, how are you talking about ugly babies with a pregnant lady? I was like, hey, she, she was in it too. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hello, Casile. The tea is in the tea. Hello, good sir. We're just painting a cutie little monkey. Look at this little dude. Let's add some white streaks in there. Okay, and then what's left? We've got those bottom little legs. Oh, a little three-month-old. Oh, you were pregnant still with baby Yoda then. The last couple weeks were too rough. Oh, I can't even imagine you built a little human inside of you. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, what am I doing here? We are going to the legs. I'm Again, I'm using a little bit of a lighter gray because his legs are almost the lightest part. So I'm starting with a lighter gray instead of pure black like we were at the top and that lighter gray in the second spot. We're using a way lighter gray. Oops, get in there. I just painted over those cute little legs we did. And same over here, do the same. Oops, actually, I guess we're working wet on wet. Maybe I should have done this first. So at this point, it is his knee, which is the lightest point. So we're going to start at that knee. The most lightest condensed part. And then you're going to bring down some little brushies. You just got to move on at it. It said streaming September 4th. Mulan's just getting released to stream, hey? Times are changing. I know, movie theaters are just so sad now. They're not getting any new releases. 
They're still playing Spider-Man, like, Homecoming or whatever, and I'm pretty sure that's on Netflix. And yeah, Ashlyn's talking. <laughs> We're talking about that babies come out weird looking. Yeah, like, it's... See, you guys, the mom said it, too. <laughs> Not about her baby, of course, but most babies come out weird. The conversation came up because people wanted me to do like newborn baby portraits. And I learned the hard way by trying to paint a newborn baby that it's actually very difficult because they're actually not as cute as we want them to be, right? <laughs> they're very wrinkly. So if I paint them super wrinkly, then they look like old men. But if I don't paint them wrinkly, then they don't look like themselves. And they're very, like, pink. But if you paint them too pink, then they look weird. But if you paint them normal human color, then they look off. So I always suggest, like, wait until the baby's, like, at least a year. And then they look like themselves, right? Like, they kind of look more like what they're going to look like. Um, and so it's nicer to have a picture of a baby that looks like them more than just, like, a little newborn they're just not as chubby and cute like we want to paint some cute little fat rolls on that baby am i right <laughs> can you tell that <laughs> i'm not the biggest baby <laughs> it's only been recent in my life that i have decided not decided but it came to me that i wanted to have kids for a long time i didn't but uh Justin is was the first to say that he's going to tell my kids that I've never wanted them. <laughs> right? Wasn't that the joke? Uh, when I Before I said I never wanted kids, Justin's like, well, when you have those kids, I'm going to tell them that you didn't want them. <laughs> the best uncle out there. Okay, we've got that little fur on our little guy. Right? How's that? Close up. And you can go as detailed as you want, right? You can add as many hairs. You can even do these with different colors if you want to keep it exciting. But that's basically good for now. How are we feeling, folks? Should I start filling in those eyeballs? Okay, so to start the eyes, we're still gonna be using this gray color that we're using. Lighter gray though, more white than black. We want it to be pretty light. Yeah, the eyes are sucking you in, please fix them, exactly. Okay, we're doing it. So we're gonna start with a light gray color and we're gonna use quite a bit of water on our brush. It's not gonna be chocolate milky by any means, but we're not using thick, thick paint. We kind of want them to be, um, and want it to be a little translucent. I'm using the same brushes I've been using for a while now. And we are gonna go up at the top of the eye and we're gonna do one swipe. Again, playing keep away from the top of the eye. So it's not all against the rim, um, not right up against the rim, it's a little ways away. And if the line, if the paint went on pretty thick, even though we talked about water, because mine, still, mine still went on pretty thick, you can with just water on your brush, like I have no paint, just water, you can buff out the line a little bit. You go up to that hard edge with that watery paintbrush and just kind of like buff it, <laughs> if that makes sense. I'll show you close up. You see how I buffed it at the bottom line? It's a little more. <laughs> I can't do it from this awkward angle. Let me try again. Just buff it out. With some water. I mean, same thing on this side. We're gonna go keep away from the top. Man, my lighting sucks today. Oh, what it is. It's just so reflecty. Okay. 
I see those top little. I feel like mine didn't come out weird though, but I think that's just because I'm her mom. Hey, you don't. I like my sister's babies both came out quite perfect as well. <laughs> um, and of course, when you're the mom, of course it's easier. But no, I won't. I don't. Not all babies. There's some babies where you're like. Huh! <laughs> Now the eyes look dark and hollow. Okay, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. We're still going. Okay, with a little bit more white on our brush, not the dark gray, not the gray that we were just using, a more white. We're gonna do one little circle. One little reflecty line right here, and one little reflecty line over here. Not a line, it's a circle. Okay, two, uh, two little lines, two little lines. And then the thing that'll try to hopefully make it, um, to finally make them not look so hollow, we're gonna need to get some brown with a touch of white in there. Phase Mac, finally you're alive. I've been waiting for a long time. Oh my Lanta, good to see you. I know, I'm sorry you guys, my schedule's been very limited these last couple of weeks trying to finish, um, and I will look at your picture, Ashlyn, I didn't miss that. Um, trying to finish a couple projects, so I've only been on Thursdays. I'm sorry, you guys, I've been neglecting ya. So we have a brown here with a little bit of white in it, maybe even a little bit of gray if you want, that was by accident, but um, now we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom, but with brown. The same thing as we did on the top, but we've got this brown color. And we are going to fill in the bottom. And same on this side, you're gonna do a little brown line. Face Max says, this might be the last time streaming with me because you're joining the army. Amazing. When does that happen for you? Like when do you, what is it, deployed? Is that what it's called? When are you deployed? Oops. So we've got those brown underneath. You went yesterday! Oh my gosh. So see that so far, I know it looks super weird at the moment. Don't worry. What time is it? Oh my gosh, it's 9.50. Look at me just being slow as ever. Okay. With that brown, we are going to take just straight brown now, not brown with white. I'm using a little bit of a smaller brush. And I'm just gonna go in there and draw some very thin lines. Like, you know like how eyes have, pu in your pupils, they're a little bit liney in a sense, right? I'm just gonna go lightly across what we've drawn and draw some little brown lines. I'll bring it closer, don't worry. Same on this side. Very subtle, but can you guys see those lines and those eyeballs? Oh my gosh, she's pretty cute. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we're just gonna get in some nitty nitty degree tail. Nitty gritty details is what I was trying to say. Um, just to make all those lines on his face and just to kind of bring him more monkey-esque. And then the glasses are our last step, right? So I'm gonna go in with brown, but a touch of black and like literally the tiniest touch of black because it will overpower your brown and turn it just to plain black. Okay, 
And we are gonna still use a little baby brush, whatever brush you got, that's small. And we are gonna start by giving him some under eye pupils, whatever these, not pupils, eyelids. So we are just gonna play keep away from that eye again. I'm gonna show you close up, don't worry. See what I did there? So I played keep away from the eye and did one line underneath it and then another half line right underneath that. And look, he already looks so much more like a monkey on this side. And same to the top, you're gonna do the same thing. Come about to the middle and you're gonna play keep away. bigger one right on top. <laughs> it looks like big like alien eyeballs, hey? That's just how this guy draws his monkey eyes. doing the same thing what you do on one side you do the other like yoga or something right monkey and we're gonna outline his little sorry if I'm going fast you guys sorry my life I just get lose track and then gotta speed it up to finish her off in time. And you make a darker line about where his little mouth is. And he's got a little cute underlip. So let's give him a little underlip. So crazy. Okay, what else can we do? You can add a couple extra lines in there. I know it feels redundant, but the more value changes you do, the more detailed your painting becomes. But you always want to make sure, like, you know how we did light, and then we did a, a way lighter line, and then we did a little bit of a darker and a way darker line. Every time you do these lines, you want to make sure that underneath you can see the layers, every layer that you've done. You don't want to cover it up completely. That's like the whole point is you want to be able to see all those, all that hard work you've been doing. You gotta cut early, I have to be up tomorrow. Oh, no worries. We're so glad that you made it as usual. It's always the best having you here. Good luck waking up early, that's tough for me. <laughs> good night, everybody, good night. Thank you for joining. Okay, I'm going in with this dark brown again. Remember, it's bl it's brown with a little bit of black in there. And you are going to fill in underneath all these toesy woesies. And you know what we're also going to do? Give him some toenails. I ain't leaving, Casile. Dresden's leaving. Okay. So these nails are, again, like think of how your nail works. Like you look at your nail and see where the nail bed goes. And just draw us a little quick line in there. Heading over to pig stand. Alice, I'd love to see your little monkey. How did he go? But also bye. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. I love that. Okay, monkey, monkey, monkey. 
You have a good night too. And we just put some rough toenails in there. See those little toenails? We don't have to color them in if we don't want to. And same on this guy. You can darken up some of those little shadow spots in between his fingers. And same over here. He doesn't really have any fingers on that side. You missed the amazing taste stream, random guy, you sweet angel. You didn't fully miss. I'm actually even running a little bit behind. Look, our mug isn't even complete yet. It's like 10 and we're not even done, our little monkey. How's that? Hey, that's okay. What were you doing instead? I'm sure you're doing something else important. How do you guys feel about your eyeballs? Do you still feel like they're sunk in pits of death? <laughs> Truthfully, it's just this guy paints his eyeballs a little bit weird. Not weird. <laughs> Sorry, Jeff. You don't draw your stuff weird, I swear. Uh, but just different than what I'm used to how I would draw them. Maybe you can do another swipe of pure white on there. I'm running out of white, clean white. But maybe we should add a little bit other brighter highlight in there. Or did that make it look even weirder? Brighten up that little spot too. Remember, white, pure white highlights our friend. So if you want to grab some pure white, you can put a little bit of a pure white rim around your coffee. Or pure white, just a little spot on the handle. Maybe we've got some pure white in his cute little high. Lighted nose. You can add some. Oops, don't do that. You see how it goes in his mouth again. This is completely up to you with how much detail you want to add. I am just lightly swiping some white in his nose. What do we call it? A muzzle? I can't even see it. It doesn't even matter at all. And again, if you like want to put some highlight on his nails, you can add a little bit of pure white in there. If you're doing this though, I would suggest to add some water to your paint when you're doing it so that it goes on a little bit translucent. Right? What? She has pure white highlight on his ear. Beep. I don't know. He's so cute. Oh, Justin giving me that little rainbow. I don't know. I think he's kind of cute, right? This is a little coffee mug. So, realistically, for a background, you guys keep doing that, don't stress. I'm just going to try to figure out what we're going to do for a background here. I think the best thing to do is with a really watered down black, just slob on some... Slob on some black to make it look like a shadow of where it would go. And the reason why I'm saying slob with lots of water is because we don't want it to be super, like, we don't want it to be as dark as he is. 
So I'm just with a lot of water just going to slob that on there. Right? So it looks like a shadow and then we'll make like a watercolory background. But I guess the biggest difference that we don't have here is his glasses. I forgot them. <laughs> is it how is everyone who's painting along? Let me know. What how are we going on there? If we have any questions, do you want to do the glasses? Do you not want to do the glasses? Nikki says, glasses. Okay, easy peasy. Realistically, I guess, too, this is just me being nitpicky. Like, when you look at the whole thing, everything has shadow, but the mug doesn't have shadows. And it should. And that's just me being a picky little gal. But I'm just going to add a touch of black into the teal. And I'm just going to, at the bottom here, just add a little bit of a darker color just so that this mug doesn't look so out of place so just around his little fingers and above the bottom there let's uh add a little darker see how alone already that just makes the whole thing look better oh my god ashlyn you're right okay so while we let that dry and while you guys catch up i will show let's see if my So, um, my huge job was, or is, um, a new apartment building in Calgary is going up and they commissioned me to fill all the hallways with original paintings by me, which is crazy. Um, but that means 30, 36 by 36 inch paintings is what they ordered and they're huge and they take up my whole studio and I'm also illustrating a children's book at the same time and they are both due on September 7th and September 8th. So that's why I've been just like going around like a psycho recently. But okay, um, we've got, can you see? Sean Mendez. Back there, there's a Gord Downey right over here. There is Freddie Mercury. Oh, where's my hand going? Ooh, oh, 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 oh. And then Ray Charles is in there. Oh, on my phone, my camera won't go back even further. But. You guys get the point. So 15 of them are due right away here. Oh my gosh. Katie, I'm sorry. If you're watching, my girlfriend's FaceTiming me right now. Should we just... I'm literally face... I'm literally still live streaming. Do you want to say hi to everybody? <laughs> hi. <laughs> I'll call you back in like 20. Is that cool? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Anyway, sorry for the, the distraction there. Um, uh, no glasses for Cinderella. She sent me the monkey. Let's look at him quick before she goes then. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Look at him. Or her, whatever you want. Look how cute it is. Cinderella's always down for the drips and I love it. Okay, we're gonna get some glasses on this guy. Um, and we are going to drips for life, exactly. Good night, Cinderella. Okay, you guys, we're doing some glasses and it's black, pure black paint. It's easy peasy. If you wanna do it with a Sharpie, I won't judge you. You can do it. What we're gonna start with is just the line right in the middle of where we want those glasses to go. It can be like a curved up line, maybe would be better, right? And then they're just gonna be two big circles and realistically you can freehand them, but maybe some of you might wanna trace something. Maybe that's a good size. Let's do that. Maybe this one, is this one better? Is this too big? That's a little too big. But let's say you got a Sharpie. Oh. 
Circles are difficult. The frogs were squares, and so squares were a little bit easier, but here, let's just give her a little traceroony here. And same on this side. Circle, circle. Some people can use a, oh my gosh, I'm not even going to remember what it's called. What did we use as kids to make perfect circles? A protractor? Not as kids, I'm sure there's adults that use them too, but that's just the last time I used it. Um, protractor? Guys, what's it called? No, I don't remember. Let's get that circle going. Compass! <laughs> You're right. It's a com what's a protractor? <laughs> Get that in there. So we've got one circle for the glasses. And let's go on this side. And let's, with our paintbrush. The way you commit to think is crazy, I would have used a pencil. <laughs> eh. When you do enough paintings after a while, then you don't even care if you mess it up. Whatever. You'll just paint over it. Nothing's permanent. That's the best way. But I guess that's a good call. You guys can use a pencil. <laughs> if you don't want to be a psycho like me, use a pencil. <laughs> and that might help the process a little bit more. And the thing that's different about these glasses is we're literally just going to put a black square right out the side. And same on this side, just a little black rectangle or square or whatever. Remember, you can use your paintbrush to align it. And the main problem that we have here is that we need those glasses to pump up to be able to be seen past his little fur, right? And that's all with a white layer but it's a white watered down layer that we're gonna have to put in there, but we can't do it until our background is, uh, or our glasses are dry. So while we do that, let's just get the background going. I think my background's gonna be pink. You can make pink with white and red if you want, but we're just, I'm gonna go with my classic pink color. And I'm just going to, ooh, that's aggressive, but that's fine. Talking about watercolor -y, the best way to do it is just keep remembering about that chocolate milky consistency that I always talked about at the start, which means more water than anything. And I'm just going to go through and just like tie dye this painting. I'm going to go right over that black shadow I painted at the bottom. and I'm going to come as close as I want to those little furries. This is super water, you guys. It's like basically just water with a touch of pigment in there. And like, for example, like, look, like, oh, that's way too much pigment. That's way too dark. I'm just gonna go with just water on my pat on my brush right in and start pulling that pigment that I put down with the water all throughout the canvas. But now I'm not adding more pigment. I'm just adding straight water to pull around what's already on there. That looks fresh. Yo, Hunger Games, uh, thank you. Isn't it always cool to leave and come back and see where he's at? So cute. And like I said, remember you guys, I'm going over top of the bottom black shadow that we made. Okay, let's get that going. I didn't realize that it's already like 11 after 10. Uh, story of my life, I'm behind all day. Oh, always the drip. You always gotta get the drips in there. Important. Important part of the process. 
And what else? There's drips and glitter is another one of my huge. And I include glitter just by literally sprinkling some glitter on to, oh, that's way too much, but that's fine. Onto the wet paint that you put down, drop some glitter in it and your glitter will, your paint will lock it in. You messed up your glasses. Okay, what is messed up about it? Send me a picture. I won't show the class, but I can try to help. It might just mean you will have to wait for stuff to dry and just kind of paint over some spots and that's okay. The beauty is that underneath the glasses is basically just black and white paint. It's not like it's going to be hard to mix colors. You're not late. One person showed it because she had to leave quick. Um, and then we haven't seen the other ones yet because I don't think they're done yet. We'll see how much time we have because I'm just classic running late, of course. <laughs> Story of my life, which I said so many times today. I think that's my, like, my, what you call it, motto. Story of my life is probably my catchphrase. That's the word I'm looking for. Ashen sent a cute painting idea, but she doesn't know if it's too hard. Okay, we will assess that. We run on day day time. <laughs> you guys are the best. <laughs> Justin, it's actually, I can't say no. That's so funny. I like said that to your parents the other day. <laughs> I can't say no. You're right. I can't say no is my catchphrase. Trust the process, I guess, is also my catchphrase. Justin, I don't think you were here when I showed everybody the sweaters or like the decals that me and Kenzie are making for Trust the Process. Check out that glitter bomb on that little monkey. Okay, he's pretty cute. I'll show quick. The only thing is like the background color isn't I don't know if you saw in my story, we bought this like sparkly, it's like my tattoo color. So like this pink, uh, wherever it is and like glittery. So it's not going to be like this color in the drip pros part, but trust the process and cutie. Wait, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. But yeah, so it won't be that like gradient. It'll just be like straight pink glitter or blue glitter. Aren't they cute? Well, I think they're cute at least. <laughs> okay, wait, it's blurry. Come on. Um, let me see. Kenji's gonna make, oh, she's here still. She's gonna make them this weekend. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay. The last step that is going to be a make or break for some people is the glasses. The white of the glasses. But wait, what did I tell you? Oh, you didn't ruin your glasses. They're just touching each other. That's the only problem. Oh, they're still cute, though. They're just touching. How can we solve that problem? Hmm, I'll have to fix that. Will it take as many steps as that gradient? <laughs> yeah, the gradient color will be all glitter. That's what I was trying to say. It's not gonna be that. It's gonna be just like, Kenzie has it, so I can't show you. But it's just one color of straight glitter. And it'll be one. One is like pink like this, and one's like blue like this. Why I'm backwards. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna try to think of how to help Nikki out. Well, I just add in here the bottom. So you're gonna take like a bigger brush than what I was using. You're using a really watered down white, like really watered down. And you are gonna buff with a water on, just water on your brush. You're gonna kind of pull that white around to make like a film, like a light film of white inside that glasses. This might be confusing.
But again, remember, if you have lots of water, way more water than paint on your brush, it will dry op translucent, not opaque. And we want that for the glasses. Nikki, your glasses aren't ruined, they're just close. So I'm trying to think of how we can fix that. It might take some reworking of, um, like painting around, let me see. Or we just keep the glasses close. But here, let me show this close up. See how that's like really watered down and you can see it's gonna dry even more translucent than that already is. But now you can see what's underneath with a little bit of light over top of it. Might have to white it out and redo. But it's not like you white out everything. Like it could be as easy as you just mixing that skin color again and just coloring in just that the glasses with that skin color. Because if you redraw the new glasses, they're gonna be very close to that shape anyway. You just have to, it's just because your eyes are a little bit closer together. So you're literally just gonna have to, your glasses are gonna be right on the rim of his eyeballs. And that's exactly what, if you look at the picture, that's what it is, oh, where's my hand? If you look at the picture, they, the rim of the glasses is like touching his eye. So don't be scared to touch the eyeball. Oh, maybe put a gold rim on it and connect them with the gold nose part. Oh, that's an idea too. Girl. You like the toes and shadow job? Oh, why, thank you. The toes are difficult. So I'm glad that they turned out okay. Here, look, if we just want to go with gold, I think I might even have some gold in here somewhere. I've got some gold paint. Let's see. Nikki likes that. Perfect. Oh my god, it's 10 20. Okay. It's just. Oh, you guys can't even see that. Okay, me making this ring gold is literally just made me into this monkey. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny lately in streams where like it's like 8 20 and i look at the paint and i'm like damn we're doing good this one's gonna be quick and then here we are late as heck as usual see i just added some gold on there that's kind of cool Okay, see, like, you, it's cute. I don't even really notice that your glasses are... Here, you guys, we'll show you a couple. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so there's a couple. Look how stinking cute this little 5 by 7 is. She made hers with the book still. Stinking cute. And then look at this one. So good! And you nailed the feet. Love the drips. No, oh, I don't think, you know, like, so good. And then, um, this was Creative Ellie's. Hers was so funny. I love him, too. Look at him. What? She had to leave early, but she always kills the drip game. Drip game strong. And then Ashlyn. Oh, wow. She was, this was, she was saying, she suggested, um, something for paint night, which might be too difficult. <laughs> it will be too difficult probably, but I'm gonna think about it. We'll see how we can play with something like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, you guys, the cutest little monkeys of all time. Oh my gosh. There's a couple people that told me they couldn't make it today um, that are so excited for the monkey. So stay tuned on my Instagram. I'll for sure be posting their um, pictures of their monkeys once they get to them. I gotta take a, uh, what you call it? A thumbnail photo and I feel like it just has to be me holding a coffee mug, doesn't it? Actually, you know what's even better? I can match this monkey even more. Give me four seconds. Probably more than four seconds. Be right back, be right back, be right back. 
Whoa. You guys. Do you got some bananas? No, but I got a mug that's almost the exact same color as his mug. Right? So how would I be like him? 17 seconds, yeah, sorry. I had to run to my kitchen, you know? Let's see, where's my... Bring the feet up, Kenzie! <laughs> Should I do this? <laughs> I'm not flexible enough! Oh yeah, I gotta get red, I gotta get New York in there. <laughs> My foot just covers the monkey? <laughs> That's what he looks like, isn't it? No, oh, I keep covering the I Heart New York. Oh my god, I'm gonna Photoshop baby feet in 100%. And this will be my little face. Yeah, I'm gonna for sure put my foot in there. That'll be good. That'll be good, you guys. One of those pictures will do, don't get? One of those pictures will do. There we go. <laughs> um, one thing as I'm just looking at this for anybody who stays along long enough on the YouTube video here. Just detail-wise, if you want to add more to your little chonke monke, the only thing I noticed that I have a little bit different is for sure just adding more of these little dark lines, just a little bit more depth in this little... on his snouty, if you want. Again, you push the detail as far as you want. I'm just looking at it from afar, but there we go. Okay, you guys, how are we happy? Nicole, was that a successful birthday for you? I hope. I'm always so honored that you guys choose to um, spend your birthdays with me, us, not just me, all of us. Um, I love this one too. I think he's adorable. What a great little choice. Thanks for choosing him. Oh, so cute. Um, and then we'll see by Sunday, you guys. By Sunday, I report to y'all about what we're doing on Thursday for next paint night. Um, I will always update my bio here in Caffeine. I'll be on the guide. I will update my Instagram. Always on Sundays, you will see what we're doing, okay? Thanks, Hunger Games. Thanks, Nikki. Thanks, <gasps> Mustard Tiger. Yeah, Ashlyn's gonna hunt for a little bit easier ones. I think that one will be a little tough for some pre, for some first timers, but we'll figure it out. Great job, class. Oh, Hunger Games are just the best to have in here. Just the best. Thanks guys for coming. Thanks for being the best always. And uh, I'll for sure see you next Thursday. And then next week is the last week of me being the worst streamer in the world, okay? I'll be back to coming a little more often. Kenzie and I are planning a bunch more shows for us to do together that aren't just paint nights, just something else that people who don't wanna paint can do. Um, yeah, so stay tuned, you guys. We ain't going anywhere. I just had to go away for a little bit, but uh, okay. We will see you next Thursday. Happy birthday to Nikki. That's the theme of today. Happy birthday, Nikki. <laughs> and goodbye, everybody. See you. Hope you have the best day, Nikki. <laughs> Bye.